Well, what can we say, any of us, that we haven't already said? You mean just let her blunder into this marriage? Well, apart from kidnapping her or taking her out of the country, I can't see how we can stop her. Don't tempt me. Hi. Oh. I saw you come in. Have you got a minute? No. No, I... Please. I'd really like to explain. What say you want? I didn't mean to upset you. We know exactly what you're meant to do. Take advantage of her. Well, it's not going to happen. She might be too soft to tell you where to get off, but I'm not. Is everything all right? Um, no. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot my tape. Just keep away from her. I'm sorry. I, I really didn't mean to upset anybody. Sorry. Bit of a misunderstanding. My man doesn't want to see you. I'll just be a minute, please. It's all right, David, I'll see to this. You'd better come in. I don't want embarrassing in public again. I'll be upstairs if you need help. Thanks. I just wanted to explain. Yes, you've already said that. You also said you didn't want to upset anybody. Well, you have. My entire family. How many times can I say I'm sorry? Ever since it ended, I've tried to make things normal. To give Sarah, David and Bethany a normal life. It seems to me you've done brilliantly. I hear David at night. Shouting in his sleep. He still has nightmares. If I go into him, he denies it. Trying to protect me. Sarah hates being in the house on her own. I heard her say to Scooter, she, uh, she imagines there's someone. You could help other people. You just don't get it, do you? If I didn't have to keep it together for them, I would have gone mad. But sometimes I manage to go for a whole day without thinking about any of it. And you know the worst thing? I meet a really nice guy. And I really begin to look forward to something. I wish you'd been honest about what you wanted. That's just it. I genuinely didn't know. All I knew is that I... Well... Really liked you. Well, more than that, actually. To be honest, this is agony for me. Part of me still wants to do the interview, but like I said, I'm really, really attracted to you. And I'd hate to think that that came between what you and I might have. And I'd still like to see you. On what other basis? If you could bear that. So, uh, you sure you're going to finish work by four o'clock? Well, I spoke to Dev yesterday and he said it'd be OK. OK. I'll pick Beth up from school and get her ready. Are you going somewhere? Yeah, it's a fun day on the Red Wreck. You come in. You're joking. It'll be all kids' stuff. What, you an old-age pensioner? Ah, oh, come on, it'll be a giggle. There's face painting for Bethany and there's all sorts. Yeah, including me dad making a fool of himself. Oh, is Martin going to be there? Yeah, he told me. Some at Weatherfield team are going, and he'll be there, running about in his chicken outfit. All the more reason why we should go, then. All the more reason for staying away, you mean? What if some kids from my school found out he were my dad? It's so embarrassing. You won't tell anybody it's him in that suit, will you? Not if it mortifies you that much, no. Yeah, it does. And tell him to keep his head on and all. Don't let her take a... Are you getting on with Keith? Yeah, in a way, fine, yeah. It's a nice chap. Considerate. Uh, it's quite good company, which, to be honest, I'm glad of. But, but I can feel there's a butt coming. Oh, well, there always is with fellas, isn't there? It's just... It's always on the lookout for a bargain, you know? I mean, like yesterday, we went to the pictures in the afternoon and it was half-price admission for pensioners. And after that, we went for a pizza because it was a special prize for senior citizens. Well, what's wrong with that? I don't want to feel like a senior citizen, thank you. 
But you are, ma'am. You're a great grandmother. Oh, well, don't remind me. I'm not holding my head. I'm not holding my ways. And I don't look old, do I? I mean, I bet all them wrinklies in that pizza place thought I was there under false pretenses. Just get some in nerves the way Keith keeps on and on counting the pennies. He used to moan that Alf had a padlock on his wallet. Oh, compared to Keith, Alf was the last of the big spenders. I mean, he is so tight. I bet he could peel an orange in his trouser pocket. I told you, yesterday we went for a pizza, right? Well, I could only eat half of mine. He went and took the other half home. I mean, come on. I call that really miserly. I am not miserly. Oh, d don't do that. You gave me a right turn. And you know what they say, eavesdroppers never hear good of themselves. Well, I wasn't eavesdropping either. I couldn't help but hear what you said. I'm not miserly, Audrey. I'm careful, yes. Hold me hand up to that. I just don't like throwing money around. But I'm a reasonable man. And if I can save a bob or two, a reason, I've got a bob or two left to spend on someone else. Can't fault his logic, ma'am. As it happens, I was saving up to buy myself a new suit. Oh. And I'll tell you for why. I don't want to show you up, Audrey with you looking so elegant and ladylike. Oh, well, I'll try and make an effort. Yeah, and I'm going to an all. So why don't you come with me when I buy this new suit? I mean, I mean, look at you. You know how to set your stall out. All the good stuff up front, out a bit mouldy, well concealed. Ah, I well, left it with him. Uh, I said I'd talk it through with the kids. Oh, well, that'll take all the five seconds. Why don't you just tell him to keep his nose out? Ma'am, he's not a reporter. He's writing a thesis. It could help people. Is that what he told you? Ma'am. Uh, well, come on, hear about these people with their weird obsessions. <sighs> no, it's all above board, I'm sure of it. Gail, he's a footman. He should be writing a thesis on bunions and verrucas, not killers. Actually, I could write a good one on bunions, you know. It's been on my feet all day that does it. Well, trust me, I won't do anything I don't want to do. <sighs> Well, anyway, I must be off. I've got Sally Webster's roots to see uh, to. Why don't you come back later on for your tea? Uh, no, you're all right. I'm meant to be going out for a meal with Keith. Oh? Mm. Twice in one week. Must be getting serious. Yeah, I know. I can't possibly think what he sees in me. Mind you, it's better than having a morbid fascination with my ex-husband, I suppose. Ma'am. Mm. Anyway, the one thing I will say about Keith is what you see is what you get. He's really down to earth. Got his feet on the ground. Uh, oh, you! What is she talking about? Is it a pig in next door's garden? Yes, unfortunately there is, but I've asked Keith to get rid of it. Now, please, will you just sit down? Oh, Mum, is this going to take No, long? it's not, but it is important. David, oh, turn yeah, the telly off, will you? Behind the seat. Well, you know, um, Phil's writing a thesis, and uh, he wants to talk to... Well, uh, all of us, about it. He doesn't work for the police, does he? No, but the police aren't the uh, only people who take a professional interest in uh, what happened to us. Is he a psychiatrist? No. Well, it's got nothing to do with him, what happened to us. Well, I, um, I can see how you think that. What worries me? Sorry to... No, no, me. it's... Um... Go on. You hardly know the guy. That's true, but... Uh... But you're prepared to talk to him about something like that, something that we never talk about. Don't we talk about it? No. But you want us to all talk to a stranger? Well, I'm sorry you feel you can't talk to me. I thought we were a family who talked about things. Well, now I feel I don't have the slightest idea what's going on inside your head. Either of you. I used... No, it doesn't matter. No, no, no. Please, just say it. I used to lie awake all night thinking, why? Why us? Oh, Sarah. I can answer that one. David, please. No, just let him talk. We should all talk. You want to hear my theory? It's short and sweet. I blame you. David. You brought him into this house, didn't you? But I'd no idea. So it was your fault. You let a madman tie me up, shove me in a car and drive into a canal. Well, you wanted to know my opinion. Cheers.